Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of the most distant planet in our solar system, Neptune? Lying beyond the seventh planet, Uranus, Neptune reigns as the eighth and most distant planet from our Sun. More than 30 times farther from the Sun than Earth, Neptune is a world shrouded in icy blues and profound mystery, invisible to the naked eye due to its immense distance from our radiant Sun. This far-off planet is a marvel in its own right, with unique characteristics that set it apart from the other celestial bodies in our solar system. It's a world so distant and so different it could almost belong to another solar system entirely, yet it's one of ours, a part of the cosmic family that orbits our Sun. Neptune, being the most distant planet in our solar system, holds many secrets yet to be discovered. Did you know Neptune has a distinctive blue color, unlike any other planet in our solar system? It's like a sapphire gemstone nestled in the velvet blackness of space. But what makes Neptune so blue? It all comes down to its atmospheric composition. Neptune's atmosphere is primarily made up of hydrogen and helium, much like the gas giants in our solar system. But it's the third component, methane, that's the real game changer. Methane molecules are particularly adept at absorbing red light and reflecting blue light back into space. This means that when sunlight, which contains all colors of light, reaches Neptune, the red part of the spectrum gets soaked up, while the blue part gets bounced back. And voila, this creates the stunning blue world we see when we look at images of Neptune. So it's the methane in Neptune's atmosphere that gives this distant world its beautiful blue hue. Imagine winds three times faster than any storm on Earth. Welcome to Neptune's extreme weather. Neptune's atmosphere is a swirling cauldron of supersonic winds and massive storms. The most famous of these, the Great Dark Spot, is a tempest as large as our home planet, and Scooter, a smaller, faster-moving storm. These are akin to the hurricanes we experience on Earth, but on a scale that dwarfs anything we're familiar with. The wind on Neptune is a force to be reckoned with. It whips around the planet at speeds that can reach up to 1,240 miles per hour. That's faster than the speed of sound on Earth. This supersonic wind is three times faster than the strongest winds ever recorded on our planet. With winds that can reach speeds of up to 1,240 miles per hour and storms as large as Earth, Neptune's weather is truly extreme. A year on Neptune is unlike any year on Earth. Imagine celebrating your birthday just once every 165 years. Yes, that's how long it takes Neptune to complete one orbit around the Sun. This extraordinarily lengthy journey is due to Neptune's tremendous distance from the Sun, about 30 times further than Earth is. Now imagine if each season, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, lasted for over 40 years. That's right, four decades of summer sun or winter snow. This unusual duration of seasons is due to Neptune's axis of rotation, which is tilted by a significant angle compared to its orbit. This tilt results in prolonged seasons, much like we have on Earth, but with a far more extreme duration. These unique aspects of Neptune's orbit and rotation create a dynamic and fascinating world, albeit one that operates on a timescale vastly different from ours. With a year that lasts 165 Earth years and seasons that span over four decades, time on Neptune is a concept far removed from our earthly understanding. Neptune's family is not complete without its 14 known moons. Like the icy rings around the planet, these moons add a touch of mystery to the blue giant. Among them, Triton stands out as the largest and perhaps the most intriguing. Named after the Greek sea god Sun, Triton is about as big as our moon and shines brightly in Neptune's sky. But what makes Triton truly fascinating is its peculiar dance around Neptune. Unlike most moons, Triton moves in a retrograde orbit. This means it circles Neptune in the opposite direction to the planet's rotation. How did Triton end up in such an unusual path? Scientists believe Triton was once a free-roaming object in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy bodies beyond Neptune, until it got too close and was captured by the planet's gravity. From its retrograde orbiting Triton to its smallest moon Naiad, Neptune's moons add more mystery to this distant blue world. The discovery of Neptune is a testament to the power of mathematical prediction. This far-off world wasn't stumbled upon by mere chance or through a telescope's lens. Instead, it was the product of calculations and precise predictions. The story begins with a French mathematician named Urbain Le Verrier. In the mid-19th century, Le Verrier noticed that Uranus wasn't following its predicted path. Trusting in the laws of gravity, he hypothesized that another unseen planet was influencing Uranus's orbit. He calculated where this hypothetical planet should be, and in 1846, an astronomer named Johann Galle confirmed Le Verrier's prediction, spotting Neptune near the location Le Verrier had predicted. The new planet was named Neptune, after the Roman god of the sea. 
a fitting name for a world that appears so beautifully blue. From its mathematical prediction to its eventual discovery, Neptune's story is as fascinating as the planet itself. How does Neptune, the distant blue giant, compare to our home planet, Earth? Let's take a moment to picture this. Neptune is a behemoth in comparison to Earth, being about 17 times larger. Its sheer size is hard to comprehend, as if our planet were a toy car next to a real one. Now imagine stepping off a spaceship onto Neptune. The cold would be unimaginable. Temperatures plunge to minus 351 degrees Fahrenheit, far below anything we experience on Earth. The chill would be bone deep, a cold so extreme it's beyond our earthly understanding. Now imagine looking up at the sky. Even at high noon, the sun would look like a distant star, barely casting any light, making our earthly twilight seem like a sunny afternoon. From its size to its frigid temperatures, Neptune is a stark contrast to our home planet offering a unique perspective on the diversity of our solar system. Could life as we know it exist on Neptune? This is a question that piques the curiosity of many space enthusiasts. However, the prospects are quite bleak. Neptune's harsh conditions make it largely inhospitable for life as we understand it. Imagine trying to exist in a world where temperatures plummet to minus 352 degrees Fahrenheit, where winds reach supersonic speeds, and where the atmospheric pressure is staggeringly high. Furthermore, the materials that make up Neptune, primarily hydrogen, helium, and methane, pose another significant impediment for life. These are not substances that typically support biological processes in organisms we're familiar with. So, while the idea of extraterrestrial life is intriguing, Neptune's extreme conditions would be overwhelmingly challenging for any life form to adapt to. While the conditions on Neptune make it inhospitable for life as we know it, the exploration of this distant world continues to provide valuable insights into our universe.